Hello, it's Diane, and yes, I know I am trying to de-stash and clean my room out, but I went to the library and I came home with some books from their book sale. Um, part of it is because I was looking for some larger cover, interesting covers, to make more glue books. And, um, well, you'll see. I'll show you what I got. Some of them were a dollar for a hardcover and 50 cents for paperback, but then there were there was a whole um, section that were all free. So a lot of these I got free. So I got this one, and I'm just going to make a garden journal out of it. It'll be like I do the G domestic arts journals, kind of Gina Johnson style from the Rebookery, because it's a large book. And I have a lot of um, crafty books for making domestic arts journals, but I thought it would be fun to do a garden one too. So I got that. This one I got for the pictures because the cover, it, it's a pretty cover and I'll probably use the cover, but the pictures were pretty neat looking. Well, where are there all the pictures? <laughs> okay, so it's alphabets and um, there's a name, always for Orlando, and then there's a story. So, it says, To Do, A Book of Alphabets and Birthdays by Gertrude Stein, with il illustrations by Giselle Potter. Alphabets and names make games, and everybody has a name, and all the same they have in a way they have to have. And all the same they have in a way to have a birthday. Well, that's weird. The thing to do is to think of names. Names will do. Okay, so that's kind of weird, but the pictures are cool. Then there is C for Charlie. Charlie is a boy whose father made chocolate candies. That's strange. But I just thought this was this would be really fun in some journals. And I like the purple cover too. This one is Expressions of Love, and again the cover is plain. But I could Mod Podge this to the front like I did with some of the other domestic arts books that I used that I made, but I like the it's cross stitch and I love the cross stitch stitch pictures inside. There's some of the, the black and white with the patterns and then the color with the finished product. So they'll be fun to use. This will be a domestic arts journal. American Country Scrap Quilts. More for the cover than anything, but I can use the pages too. I can cut this and make it into a journal card. Even this could be a journaling spot. So lots of things that I can do with these. This will be a Christmas domestic arts book, Timeless Ornaments. I made, I think I did two Christmas domestic, sorry, domestic arts books this year. And they sold, so I picked this one up to save for next year. Look at that. Encyclopedia of Sewing Machine Techniques. I love this for a domestic arts journal. Again, it's more for the cover because the pictures are, they're not, they're not really glossy, but they're not exactly matte either. But I will use these pictures. And again, I can use the illustrations and make journal spots and tuck spots with them and stuff like that. Your Colors at Home. This looks like an older book and it's just a plain gray cover. Let me see what year this is. 1985. But the pages are interesting. Those are some shapes of lamp bases. There's some color pictures, but these are nice matte pages. I 
There are pictures in here, I promise. Won't that make a cute little journaling card? That. And there's some room arrangements. Some furniture pictures. You know, I love furniture pictures. So this was in the 80s, there was this big thing about your colors, dressing with your colors. And there was, I had the book. My sisters and I did it. They came to my house. I have pictures of us um, from the 80s doing this at my house, um, answering the questions and holding different colored clothing up to our faces and, you know, deciding which colors we were. I think I was spring. I don't know. Anyway, so this is your colors at home. So I thought that was cute. Then I got this one because I put it back at first, but this was one of the free ones. And then I remembered that I had just gotten, I told you I got the, in the other video that I got the peacock pictures from Mrs. Coggs, but I also got the swan. And so I can use this book, The Summer of the Swans. She had her bird, all of her bird images on sale. So I got the peacock and the swans. I already have the owls. This is my hometown library. And somebody's texting me. Get this off because there is a picture on the front. There we go. And I like the shape of it. And it's just it's just got pictures in there of libraries, but I, I just like the cover. I'll use the pages too. Nineteen ninety four. Hey. Oh, I thought this was my the Sayre Library, but it's not. Our door looks a lot like that. This is in Guilford, Connecticut. <laughs> cool. The library here in Athens. Oh, look at that. The library in Athens, where I live, is an old building. Spalding Memorial Library, and it's beautiful. The library in Sayre, where I got these, is newer. It's a nice library, and neither of them are huge, but... The old one in Athens is, is bigger. This one is Matthew's Dream. And it also has front and back. So I thought this would be a fun glue book. This will be a big one, though. But this was free, so I got it. I wish this picture was on the cover, but it's not. It's just a plain cream-colored picture or cover. Oh, dear. And this is 1990, but I like the pictures in it. This boy has quite an imagination in his barn. Benjamin's barn is so big and so soft he could ask a frail princess to sleep in the trough or a pair of raccoons to curl up in the loft because Benjamin's barn is enormously soft. So that's fun. I like it. And the person in the potting shed has an interesting cover. It's a little front porch rocking chair with some plants. So I thought this would be a really nice journal. Um, my Little Island. And this is the cover. So I just thought that was, I like the name of it for a journal. And... It's got um, a pretty cover and pretty pictures inside. Look at that. So this will be a fun summer journal, I think. The Art of Interior Decorating. I'll use this for the pages. More furniture. 
This will be fun for journaling on. Viking Adventure. It was free. I might put this one in my shop, but I think it would be a great journal. This one I got to read. It's called Lady's Maid, and it's about the maid who worked for Elizabeth Barrett Browning. It's a big, fat book, but I thought it would be interesting. So I got this one just to read. I think it's a uh, light brown cover, so it might end up being a, a journal cover, but it'll be a while. Uh, we're getting there. Vintage Advertising Series, Tins and Bins. I just thought, whoops, well, there goes the binding. I thought these would be really great pages. I think they're all black and white, but so interesting. I'm just looking to see if there's color. Yep, there's some. Peanut butter tins. Peter Rabbit peanut butter. Cool. So that's fun. Um, Garden Blessings. It has a lot of large pages that I can put in domestic arts journals and some black and white pattern pages, which is what I was most interested in. Dragon's Coloring Book for my medieval book when I get around to doing them. Some of the pages are colored, but there were a lot of blanks of uncolored ones. So I think that was a free one. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Strength Journal, 68-day journal on God's strength, but I want it for junk journals, so it'll have some inspirational quotes on one side and then a scripture verse on the other side with room for writing. So I like that book. I just wish that the the quote sides weren't black. On Market Street, this picture is on the cover. So I wanted this for a glue book. I will make a glue book out of it. But the the Pictures are beautiful. Look at that ice cream, jewels. Oh, I love these pictures. I didn't even pay that much attention to the pictures because I just wanted the cover, but I love these pictures. Yarns, zippers. The people are made out of these things. Umbrellas, vegetables, oranges, playing cards. These are cool. I'm glad I picked that up. And that was a free one. This was also free, and this will make an excellent glue book. Um, I've seen books by him, illustrated by him, and I can't, re they're very popular ones, and I can't remember what they are, but I wonder if, if um, Gail would be disappointed that she got the glue book that she got, because this one is Let's Make Rabbits. But the other one she got from me is really nice, vintage, gorgeous cover one, so I'm sure she won't be disappointed. But how cute is this? helps you to draw rabbits and just got one more swimmy and this look at the little fish his name must be swimmy and it is on the cover this picture is on the cover the back isn't though look at how pretty that is I might mod podge that to the back but again this will be a glue book Pictures are pretty too. Looks like they're like imprinted, stamped. How pretty. Love them. I just love the effect of the paints on these pages. All right, so that's my book haul. And now I've got work to do. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.